Hey guys, it's Robbie here and I'm back, I guess, maybe, we'll see, fingers crossed. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, I went through some stuff and yeah, if you can't tell by what you can see in this part of me and up, I have gained all of my weight back plus some. And I'm embarrassed, but it's also life. Also, my cat is still being a menace and trying to break my computer. Um, yeah, so I don't know exactly where I left off. Like things were hectic and sporadic and all of that. And I wasn't loving the way videos were coming out. I wasn't in the right mindset for it. And so I decided not to do it anymore. Um, I mean, if you notice for a little bit there, all the videos were gone and all that jazz. I think I got most of them back. Um, unfortunately, there's also probably going to be some random videos that should not be up because I was just making everything public. Uh, one person already caught one video that I'm like, oh, that one wasn't supposed to go up. But anyway, um, so what had happened? What had happened was I started medication for the bipolar. And i um, just kind of going right in, assuming you know what's going on with my world. But I, I had started some medication and the side effect of every medication I was on, a lot of psychological medications, anxiety medications, depression medications, the side effect is weight gain. So while I was at first behaving, for lack of a better word, um, I was gaining weight and I was getting very frustrated because no matter how hard I tried, I was still gaining weight. So then I kind of just said, F it. <laughs> and I just started, you know, if I'm going to gain weight, eating salads, counting calories, then I'm not going to try. So I started you know, ordering pizzas. I started eating desserts like every single day. And like when I say dessert, it's like several pieces of cheesecake or whatever. Um, and things just got spiraled out of control and the worst part about all of that was none of the medication helped me um i still have not found a psychiatrist i ended up leaving the one that i was going to and i'm just struggling but without that medication i know i can lose the weight again and I decided to just try and it wasn't going well. I, after I stopped the medication, I still was gaining weight. I still could not find my motivation, find my reason to continue on the journey that I want to go on as far as losing weight and getting physically healthy. And I was talking, my therapist has mentioned it several times, like what happened the first time around that helped you lose weight. The very first time, it's so far in the past that I honestly don't remember how I was able to. This last time, when I had gotten down to 100 pounds lost, um, this channel, your guys' support, the community with the weight loss world, weight, whether it's Weight Watchers, Calorie Counting, whatever, that is a component that I feel that I need. Um, it's one thing that I actually struggle with because I need outside validation for most things that I do. Um, it's very hard for me to be motivated to do things for myself. It's very hard for me to feel rewarded by myself. I need outside assistance with that. And I don't love or think it's 100% healthy that I need that. And it's something that I'll be working on. But at the same time, it's something that I've realized. I can't do this alone. I can't do it just for myself. Um, I do need the help and support of you guys and of you know the people around me in my personal life to help keep me motivated. So I'm back. I am not trying to go real big with this. I'm not trying to, you know, I got in my head a lot of what I wanted a channel to be, what a YouTuber should be and put pressure on myself that made it all so overwhelming. So at the very least for now, it's gonna be weekly weigh-ins. Maybe, you know, some, what, what was I eating type of stuff. Things like that to keep me motivated. Cause I don't know if just one video a week 
will do it because, you know, that's seven days without any accountability, for lack of a better word. So now my work schedule, I'm going to be off on Sundays and Tuesdays, We're finally fully staffed at work. That's the other thing that was a huge factor was there's a lot of stress going on at work. We were extremely short staffed for a very long time. And it just a lot of things were hitting at me from every angle. So I'm going to at the very least do weekly weigh-ins. And like I said, maybe touch base on like a Tuesday, which that's Sunday and Tuesday. So it's only a couple days apart. So I don't know exactly how well that will go. I know it is a Wednesday today. I leave for work in an hour. Um, but I wanted, I had the motivation. I wanted to get going and do this while I still had time instead of waiting until Sunday for my official Sunday weigh-in. So I'm starting today and then wait, I'll still weigh in on Sunday and Sundays will be my weigh in days. Um, I did go through just because it's kind of the first video of this new weight loss journey. And I did my, my weight and my um, measurements. I'm going to take a full body photo, which I've been avoiding. And that's another factor that was extremely noticeable. I was going, you know, if I went somewhere with a friend, they're like, oh, do you want a photo by this? And I'm like, no, I, I don't want all of this in a video or in a photo. Um, so yeah. So I, anyway, I got my, my measurements and my weight and my next video, I'm going to go more into my motivators. Um, they're all in the back of my head, but I do think if I put it on black and white and paper, um, you know, maybe put it on a board like I used to do these things that I stopped doing, maybe it'll help. So I'll go into my motivators in the next video because I do want to make this like a short and simple video, just kind of a, sorry guys, I've been gone for so long, but I am back. I've got some new tattoos and my nails done. Um, started doing that myself because holy cow, it's expensive. Anyway, so my weight is now 388.6 pounds. That is more than when I started the last time, a few, what was a few years ago, because um, that was 376.8. I'm now 388.6, so close to the 400 pound mark that it makes me want to cry. Like, my eyes are watering. Um, and it's embarrassing, but at the same time, we know that's part of life. But at the same time, I use that excuse a lot. There's a, you know, not every week's gonna be great. Not, you know, don't be too hard on yourself. Give yourself some grace. I have given myself a lot of grace. I've worked on that a ton. Um, it was reaching the point that everything was grace and forgiveness and whatever. It's okay. I'm down to like four shirts that fit me. So, yes, there's going to be a lot of the same shirts over and over in these videos until I can get down to, to a size, size and a half to fit what, you know, half of my closet or, you know, seven eighths of my closet. So either way, that's my weight. Um, measurements. I did, um, I did them a little bit differently, the same general area, but like not necessarily all traditional. So chest. So I went straight across my nipples. You can't see what I'm doing, but right across my nipples down here. Um, and that was 54 inches. Um, across my belly button, I, I am now 58.5 inches. Uh, underneath my belly. Like this was a weird one because like, I don't know if that's technically your hips. I guess it kind of is, but the hips are also the widest part. But I'm going right underneath my belly where for now pants have to fit. Um, I can't wear them up higher on my waist because my stomach is too large. So right underneath my belly, where my pants sit, um, I am 53.5 inches. That one's important to me because my pants barely fit now, my jeans. And also because of having to wear them there, it digs into my stomach. So at the end of the day, like when I loosen up the belt, it's like I almost have to pry it out of my skin. It's gotten so bad. Um, embarrassing, gross, maybe, whatever. Y'all might be able to relate. So also my thighs, which you guys know that's always been the thing that I hate the most, um, are 34.5 inches. And then my neck is 19 inches. 
and my arms. I did it loosely. I didn't like tighten this stuff up. So I just did it very loosely around that. And that is 18 inches. So there's all my measurements. They are very large. Um, and my weight is very large. Uh, I have not finalized details as far as what I'm doing to lose weight, which sounds weird for this, you know, I'm back video. I am starting with calories. So I, I haven't plugged it in. I'm not giving any information about how many calories I'm having, any of that jazz. I'll go into more of it next video, but I just wanted to get going on this. Um, I will be using my fitness pal because it's free and I'm cheap. I have the Weight Watchers app and like I had signed up, I can't really even cancel it until April. Um, but I'm not loving the latest plans on Weight Watchers. And um, I could use Healthy, which is, you know, what used to be iTrack Bites. And that still is a possibility if I want to go that route. But I think for me, I need to, what, what do they call it? Kiss, keep it simple, stupid. So calories, I want to pay attention to my calories. I am, don't want to track points. I want to be able to look at a label and see that this is this many calories. I can have that fit it in and slowly work on the rest. So like my goal this week, whatever my fitness pal, when I plug in my weight today, whatever it tells me, that's the calories I'm shooting for and water. I have gotten back in the habit of drinking a ton of soda, energy drinks, things like that, because frankly, y'all, I'm tired all the time. Because to move 388.6 pounds, it takes a lot of energy. So I'm worn out all the time. Um, but I've made a goal today not to drink soda or energy drinks. I'm drinking water. I will put some of the Mio energy drops into my water. But also, like, well, my cup's in the kitchen. But also make sure there's plenty of just plain water. That's my goals for this week. Nothing major. I will, again, go into more details on Sunday. Now, Sunday, I am going into work just for like two hours because uh, I had an appointment already set up for Sunday before my schedule changed. So it's not going to be a bright and early, super early video unless I randomly wake up at five or something weird. Uh, so it'll be midday. And then I'm going to work on having some structure to these videos. So yeah, that is where I'm at. Um... Thank you all for being patient and I hope you all are doing well. Please keep me updated on your journeys. Comment down below where you're at on your journey because I know hopefully you're doing better than I have been doing these past whatever, six, seven months. And I, I need the inspiration. So please comment down below. Uh, you guys know I always love hearing how you're doing because it helps inspire me that I can do it too. Um, yeah. So anyway, thank you. Like, comment, subscribe if you, if you like it. And I will talk to you guys Sunday when I do my official weigh-in.